Okay, before we get started with this video, I just want to give everybody an update on the Dwarf 2 giveaway that I announced in my review video right here. As I said in that video, Dwarf Lab has agreed to allow me to give one of the units away to you guys, but we have to hit metrics. We need 3,000 views, 100 likes, and 10 comments. Likes and comments, you guys crushed it. We got them. As of time of recording, we are at 1,204 views, so we have a ways to go. We need to hit that 30 days from the date that I published that last video. So if you've left a comment and subscribed to enter the contest if you haven't shared that video already get it out there and start sharing it i really want to hit those numbers so i can give one of these units away to you guys if you're just not seeing this video and you don't know what i'm talking about like i said check this video out here and i'll leave a link in the description to it as well that explains the, the contest giveaways if you want to win one of the dwarf twos for yourself so this video is going to show you two things first of all it's going to show you how you can connect to the telescope instantaneously open the app hit the button and you're connected there's no waiting for a bluetooth connection the second one is effectively going to allow you to to increase the range to control the telescope so if you have some dead spots maybe in your house when you have the telescope out in the backyard this will allow you to be able to still control that telescope because we're going to be using your home wi-fi network to make that connection my name is rich and you're watching deep space astro Okay, it's very important that you go in the specific order in order to turn on the Wi-Fi automatically when the dwarf powers up. If you deviate from this order, then it's kind of hit or miss whether or not it works, at least in my testing. So app is open, the dwarf is off. I'm gonna turn it on now. While that's powering up on the app, I'm gonna hit my settings button. I'm gonna go into the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings, and I'm gonna turn on activate Wi-Fi at startup. Hit the back arrow, back arrow again, and then we're gonna hit the connection button. Select our telescope, and this is the part we're looking to speed up, right? It makes the Bluetooth connection first, then it turns on the Wi-Fi, and then it connects your phone to that Wi-Fi. We're trying to speed all this stuff up. So you'll go through this one time to get this going, and then after that, it'll be instantaneous for you. Okay, so once we're connected, we're just going to close this window by hitting the at the top left corner. I'm going to jump into the settings again real quick just to confirm that that switch is still on and it is. And I'm going to completely exit out of the application. Now I'm going to power down the dwarf and then turn it right back on. Give it a few seconds to finish booting up. In the meantime, go over into your Wi-Fi settings and you can watch your list of Wi-Fi networks and we should see the Dwarf's network pop up here in a few seconds. There it is. So I'm gonna tap on the Dwarf network. It says it's connecting. Now we should be done. So now if I go back over into my Dwarf app, instead of that button saying connection, it now says photo because everything's connected. I'm gonna tap photo and instantly I'm connected to the telescope and I'm ready to start imaging. Okay, this next setting is going to allow you to connect your dwarf telescope to your home Wi-Fi network, effectively increasing the range that you have from your phone to the telescope. And once we're done with that, we're not using dwarf's Wi-Fi network, we're gonna be using your home Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna connect the telescope um, with something called station mode. So make sure the dwarf is turned on Make sure you're also connected to the Dwarf's Wi-Fi network, which we are in this case. Come up to the app, hit your settings button, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings, and then station mode. It's going to prompt you to make a Bluetooth connection to the telescope just to set this up with. I'll show you the Wi-Fi networks in the area. Select your home Wi-Fi, enter your password, and then confirm. Now we're going to back out of the app, and we're going to power down the Dwarf once more. Back over on my phone, I'm going to make sure that I am connected to my Wi-Fi network, and I am. So we're going to turn the dwarf back on. Again, give it a minute to initialize. Then we're going to open up the app. We're going to hit the connection button. It's going to make a Bluetooth connection again. And now we're connected. If we exit out of this, you'll notice I'm still on my Wi-Fi network but so is the dwarf. So that's how I'm controlling it now over my Wi-Fi. That initial Bluetooth connection needs to be made after you configure station mode. But after that, if I was to back out of my app, shut down the dwarf, and this is just to show you that it does in fact work, turn the dwarf back on. Like I said, you gotta be patient, gotta give it a, a few seconds to actually make that connection to your Wi-Fi network. Open up your app and you can see it says photo again. The connection button is no longer there because we are connected again instantaneously. And if I come back out of the app and look at my Wi-Fi networks, I'm still connected to my home Wi-Fi. So previously the app would disconnect your phone from your home Wi-Fi and connect it to the Dwarf's Wi-Fi. So you lost your internet access unless your phone rolled back over to your cell network coverage. So now both devices are on the Wi-Fi. Again, effectively increasing the range that you can operate the telescope from 
as well as giving you that instant connection access. Okay, so now that we have activate Wi-Fi at startup turned on, and we've connected station mode to connect to our home Wi-Fi, you can leave both these settings on and they serve another purpose for you as well. Obviously when you're home because of station mode, it'll connect to your Wi-Fi, but if you were to take the dwarf out of range of your Wi-Fi to a park or to a friend's house, obviously you're not gonna be able to connect to your Wi-Fi when you're not home. So the activate Wi-Fi at startup will turn on the dwarf's Wi-Fi for you, so you'll still be able to connect instantaneously even when you're away from home. The last thing that I wanted to cover, once you have these two features turned on, if you want to turn them off, it's not as simple as just turning off these switches. I found that first you need to turn them off and then scroll down here to where it says reset Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Tap on that. Again, it's going to ask you to connect via Bluetooth. It's asking us to hit the power button once within 30 seconds to confirm. We push it and it says it's reset successfully. Now I have turned off the automatic Wi-Fi and the station mode. So there you go, instantaneous access and broaden your Wi-Fi reach. Hope you guys found that useful. While we're here, I wanna say thank you to all my members, both here on YouTube and on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks everybody for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Clear skies.